Hi, it's Naomi back with another vlog for you folks. This time I'm going to be talking about Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Uh, this book is the first in a series of three that follows uh, incredibly rich families of uh, China and Southeast Asia. It's very recently been turned into a film. Uh, I actually read an American article, I think, that said this is the first Hollywood movie since the Joy Luck Club in the 1990s that features an all Asian cast, which seems at once uh, very unfair and unbelievable. Um, but we can only hope this is a bit of a leap forward in representation in cinema uh, that will continue. Uh, they've already greenlit a sequel, so um, we will be seeing a lot more uh, of these characters soon. So uh, a lot of people have asked me how the film compares to the books, and I've got to say that the film leans more towards the romantic uh, side of things, whereas the books have a lot more kind of humour, a lot more sort of like... Uh, wit to them, a lot more scheming and plotting as well. What I really liked, I thought the author had a great sense of humour. He has these little footnotes uh, in the books um, that uh, were great for explaining uh, aspects of language and culture that someone like myself just wouldn't understand. Um, but as the books go on and as the series go on, his comments in these footnotes become more and more uh, acerbic and snarky. And yeah, he's just really funny. And it's something that sets the book a apart a little from similar uh, things I might have read. The main plot of the book uh, circles around Rachel and Nick, who are a couple of academics from New York. Um, they are incredibly likeable and you're rooting for them the whole way through. They're really nice folks. Um, but Rachel doesn't know too much about Nick's family. She especially doesn't know that they are a crazy rich family. She herself is from a, uh, she's Chinese American. Her, um, her, her mother brought her up as a single parent, uh, because her father died before she was born. Uh, Nick's family live out in Singapore, so that's why Rachel doesn't really know too much about them. Um, the only person from his family that she has actually met is his cousin Astrid, who herself is a really interesting character, and, and you feel quite a lot of sympathy for her. At first I thought someone like myself wouldn't feel much sympathy for a woman who has um, <clears throat> a wardrobe full of Parisian couture and items of jewellery that are worth more than I will ever make in my entire lifetime, you know? But it's that, it's the, the classic saying, you know, money doesn't always buy you happiness. And I think Astrid uh, is someone who very much represents that saying, sadly. Nick's family are really against him getting serious with Rachel, with him marrying her. Um, they are expecting Nick to bring home someone who's been to the right school, who's been to the right college, who's gone on to have the right job, and they can track back their family to the old high society families of yore. You know, they don't want him marrying below his station, which I think is, you know, I think it was really hard to, to, to read about. You know, you felt incredibly sorry for him and Rachel at those points. The displays of wealth in this book are insane. You know, it's really common for people to have their own uh, jets and on their own jets they have their own yoga studio and I, you know it's just a world I'll never ever be able to uh, understand or probably experience uh, and I'm, I'm kind of okay with that I've made my peace with it but it sure is fun to read about you know when you think about books that um, have big displays of wealth you think to things like American Psycho, Bonfire of the Vanities both books I think are, are well are quite a lot more serious than this, a lot more light-hearted, crazy rich Asians. Um, and I think, you know, it also goes to show perhaps, I mean, I'm no expert in global economics, certainly not, but, you know, when we think of grand displays of wealth in the UK, we think to America, you know, book, um, books like American Psycho, Bonfire of the Vanities. Um, but, you know, the t times have changed, the world economy has changed, and now perhaps we should be looking, when we think of wealth, more towards China. Um, and that was such an interesting thing about picking up these books because I learned a lot more about the culture of Singapore, Hong Kong, mainland China, uh, even Malaysia as well. Um, it was really nice to read something a little bit different, a little bit, um, in a way, educational. As much as I, I've said, I've had really fun... I've, 
I've had a really fun time reading this book. I also have learned a lot and, you know, learning things about other cultures is uh, certainly something I'm interested in. So from that side of things, um, I was really pleased with what I got out of the book. Um, there are three books in this series in total. So we've got Crazy Rich Asians, uh, we've got China Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems. Um, yeah, so I bought them all because I really loved the first one and he leaves you on a tiny bit of a cliffhanger at the end of book one, so I'm prepared. I see you, Kevin Kwan. They are, have been so far a total scream to read. They're really funny, they've got a bit of romance to them, but it's not schmaltzy, which would probably have put me off. Um, and also you get to read about horrible, scheming, nasty people getting their comeuppance, which I always love. Um, so yeah, for a bit of fun, they've been a bit of escapism for me, and they've probably been the funniest books I've read this year as well. I, I like, I've enjoyed changing it up a bit because I've been reading a lot of kind of like crime and thrillers, so these have been a nice welcome break, um, and I'd recommend it to anyone who is looking for a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun. Um, yeah, also shout out to Joan Wong for these amazing cover illustrations. I think they're absolutely perfect for the books, who doesn't love a good jacket? Um, so have you read any of this series yet? Um, have you seen the movie? If you have, let me know. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me today. Uh, if you want to hear more from me, more from the other vloggers, then please do subscribe to our channel and I will see you next time. Bye bye.